everybody, this is B and Brains here back for another video. Here are four more tips on how to start going natural. Number one, write everything down. It is good to have a journal to jot down everything you do when you first start going natural. It is to keep track of what products you used, which ones you like or didn't like, how often you manipulated your hair in a week, certain things like that. When I started going natural, it was hard to keep up on my hair regime because it was always changing. So I started to write everything down. Even now, I still have my natural hair document and I'm still actively using it. It is also good to refer back to the things you might have forgotten. Can't remember which hair oils you used last month? Just go back into your natural hair document and look it up. It keeps everything organized and neat and you will thank yourself later. Number two, invest in a silk or satin pillowcase as well as a silk or satin bonnet. Using a silk or satin bonnet and pillowcase at night and while taking a nap is good for your hair because it does not draw out your hair's moisture like cotton does. It is gentler on your hair so less breakage occurs and decreases the chance of frizziness. I have both, which provides a good backup if one goes missing or if I don't feel like wearing my bonnet, I can always use my silk pillowcase. My boyfriend even keeps a satin pillowcase at his house, so if I forget to pack my silk bonnet or pillowcase, he's got me covered. Number three, spray your hair in the morning and at night. Women who have kinky, coily, and or curly hair have drier hair than others and is more prone to becoming dry and brittle. So it's more important to spray your hair with water to keep it replenished with moisture. Start with just water and a spray bottle. When you become more comfortable, meaning when you start learning more about your hair, add a little bit of your favorite leave-in conditioner. The more experience you get, the more advanced your spray bottle gets. For example, in my spray bottle, I have water, one squirt of my favorite leave-in conditioner, my oil mix, and some aloe vera juice. Comment below if you want to see how I make my spray bottle mix. Number four, never, ever, ever, I cannot stress this enough, comb, brush, or detangle your hair while it is dry. The coarser and coily your hair is, the more sensitive it is to breakage. When your hair is dry, it is more likely to break since it has less flexibility. It is better for your hair when you wet or dampen it before combing or brushing. The water increases the hair's flexibility but still use caution while detangling. The proper way to detangle is first, separate your hair in sections. Take one section and wet your hair. Make sure the water has worked its way through the section. Start from the bottom and work your way up the hair shaft. When you comb your hair, make sure you either finger detangle or detangle with a wide tooth comb to help decrease the chance of breakage. If your hair is still in its relaxed state, it is okay to use a wide tooth comb but once you become fully natural, I would recommend to cut down your use of the wide tooth comb and primarily finger comb instead. Well, my little BBs, that is all I have on natural hair today. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome natural hair content. Stay beautiful. Bye.